David Banks had planned to step down as school's chancellor at the end of the year. He is now out a week from Wednesday. The question tonight, what will that mean for Banks' relatives who are high-level members of the Adams administration? His brother, Phil, is the deputy mayor for public safety, and David Banks' wife, Sheena Wright, is also a deputy mayor. Both their homes were searched by federal invest investigators. Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett live at City Hall with our lead story. N.J. Right, Sandra, the mayor is under growing pressure tonight to project stability here at City Hall. And that apparently means putting distance between himself and other members of his administration who are under investigation. One insider tells me that David Banks felt he was blindsided this morning. This morning, the mayor gave his outgoing school's chancellor two weeks notice, which came as a surprise to David Banks himself. I was ready, willing, and able to stay in my post until December 31st, he said. The mayor has decided to accelerate that timeline. Incoming Chancellor Melissa Aviles Ramos will take over on October 16th. My conversations with other leaders is that this is a time for real stability. What New Yorkers are seeing is the public face of Eric Adams, moving deliberately across the city as if nothing has changed. But behind the scenes, he's meeting with his senior staff and conferring with Governor Kathy Hochul, determined to right the ship. One insider tells Eyewitness News that Adams needs to prove to the governor that the federal indictments are not impacting his ability to run the city. Governor Hochul said as much just yesterday. We're monitoring the situation. We expect changes. That's not a secret. And changes are beginning. On Monday night, Timothy Pearson, one of his closest advisors, resigned. Next to leave City Hall is likely to be the mayor's second in command, First Deputy Mayor Sheena Wright, the wife of David Banks, and among several officials whose phones were seized last month by the FBI. Unless he's convicted, many of the city's power brokers would rather Adams remain in office than face the added turmoil of an acting mayor and a special election. But, says Catherine Wilde of the Partnership for New York City, there needs to be a management structure in place that satisfies the governor and the public that city government is not falling apart. Should the mayor resign or be removed from office, public advocate Jamani Williams would become acting mayor. Immigrants are welcome here. No hate, no fear. We caught up with him at a protest outside Trump Tower. Williams has not called on the mayor to resign, but he revealed today that he's had discussions with the governor. You know, at some point, things can't just run on autopilot. We want to make sure that somebody's there can focus on the job. And for the moment, Mayor Adams says he's the one who can do that, in spite of the indictment, in spite of the resignations, even if more are on the way.